Hey, YouTube pals. Today, we're diving into the art of rekindling flames. Specifically, how to flirt with your ex-girlfriend over text. Now, I know what you're thinking. Texting your ex can be a bit like navigating a social minefield. But fear not, we're here to sprinkle a bit of charm and humor into the mix. Ready to turn those texts into a delightful dance of words? Let's get flirty. Now, before we unleash the flirting arsenal, it's crucial to gauge the waters. If your breakup was akin to a volcanic eruption, maybe give it some time. But if you've got a decent rapport, it's game on. Let's start with the classic, compliments. It's like sprinkling a bit of sugar, sweet but not overwhelming. A simple, hey, I was just thinking about that smile of yours. Still as captivating as ever, can light the spark. Next up, be playful. Humor is your wingman here. It's like a secret handshake that only the two of you share. Throw in a playful tease, like, remember how you used to beat me at Mario Kart? I've been practicing, rematch soon. It's lighthearted, and it brings back those shared memories. Emojis are your silent allies. It's like adding a bit of spice to your textual concoction. A well-placed wink or a cheeky smirk can speak volumes without saying much. But beware, don't turn into an emoji maestro. Subtlety is key. Now, the art of suggestion. It's like planting a seed and letting it grow. Casually throw in an idea like, I heard there's this new coffee place in town. Interested in being my taste tester? It's low-key and opens the door for her to express interest. Timing is everything. It's like catching a wave. Wait for the right one. Sending a flirty text when she's swamped with work might not yield the best results. Find a moment when you know she can engage without distractions. Remember the past, but don't dwell on it. It's like flipping through a photo album. Cherish the memories, but don't get stuck in the past. A subtle nod to a shared experience, like, randomly heard our old song today, still gives me that nostalgic vibe, can create a connection. Now, let's talk about being genuine. It's like a secret ingredient in a recipe, authenticity shines through. If you're texting with an ulterior motive, it'll likely be sensed. Keep it light. Keep it real. Oh, and emojis. Did I mention those? They're like the spices in your flirty dish. A well-timed heart or a playful smirk can add that extra flavor without overwhelming the conversation. Closing the deal, it's like sealing a letter with a kiss. If the vibe is right, throw in a subtle invitation, like, what do you say we catch up over dinner? I've got a spot in mind, and your company would make it perfect. And now, for the post-flirt glow, it's time for the all-important question. Have you ever tried flirting with an ex over text? Share your experiences or thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this guide to the subtle art of X text flirting, hit that like button, share it with friends who might need a nudge in the right direction, and of course, subscribe for more relationship insights. Until next time, happy texting!